My name is Kakeru Furukawa. I work in the sales office for Kako Nutrition, a health foods maker. Furukawa, create a contract and application for this client. It's urgent, so do it quick. This domineering man is my coworker, Inaka. He has a top sales record in this department. He was not nice to the other employees, especially me. Honestly, he was not my favorite. Inaka, if you told me sooner, it could have been ready sooner. Don't I always tell you that I want you to tell me as soon as you can if you need it urgently? Huh? I'm giving you something to do even though you're a man who can't make a sale. You're a man, but you can only do secretary work, so just do what you're told without complaining. I don't mind the extra work, but it's hard when it's given to me right before the deadline. I told him there might be mistakes in the paperwork, but Inaka was not listening. He believed that office work was for girls. He always looked down on me for being a paperweight. Inaka, don't talk like that. Do you know how much Furukawa is helping us out? My coworker, Okaido, came between us. He's also in sales. His sales record was second to Inaka, but he never bragged and always defended me. Huh? As long as I'm here with the top record, this department will be fine without Furukawa. You can even tell if an employee is valuable or not. Maybe that's why your record is always second place. Inaka left, laughing hotly. Sorry, Okaido. You had to go through that because of me. You did nothing wrong. Inaka's attitude is horrible as always. The others couldn't say anything to Inaka. Some even took Inaka's side. I've talked to the department head many times, but they would always brush it off. I don't think they ever gave Inaka a warning, let alone reported anything to the higher-ups. Ah, <sighs> I'm tired. Inaka's the same as always. I finished work and buried myself in my couch. Huh? Who's here at this time? I ran over to the door. Howdy, Kakun. Nesan, what are you doing? It was my older sister Ayaka. She's called me Kakun since I was a kid. We still hang out, just the two of us. I think we were closer than most siblings. Actually, I'm in some trouble. Just... I was wondering what she was trying to say. I need me some cocoon! She came at me like a wild boar. Oof, I know you're tired, but calm down. Ah, uh, I'll hear you out, so come back up for air. I got even more tired trying to calm her down. One of our employees in our sales office needs to take time off for childcare and being hospitalized. In a few months, there will only be one person to run the sales office. My sister runs a company that sells beauty products. I guess they need people for their office. It's a lot of work to hire new employees and start from scratch, right? I also can't count on good experienced people applying for the job. So Kaku, please, come to us, I'll pay you double. Huh, I wanna help. I couldn't answer then and there. Her company was a different industry, so I couldn't say whether my skills would apply. I also had my current company, and I didn't know if I could just quit. I'll think about it. I'm sorry if I can't, though. I know you can't just decide now. Sorry for the sudden favor. Can you call me with your decision? Yeah, of course. I'll call you as soon as possible. That's how things ended that day. A few days later, upper management said they were looking for people who wanted to retire early. I got that offer from my sister, so I could. I walked down the hallway and heard voices around the corner. Early retirement? Does that mean this company isn't doing well? It's fine. With my sales technique, I'll turn it around no matter what. Inaka was talking to someone. They couldn't see me. Isn't this our chance to kick out that paperweight? Furukawa should just quit. I don't know if he'll be able to find another job, though. <laughs> 
I guess this works out. I thought I had given what I could to this company, but only Okaido recognized that. It was inevitable that I was distancing myself from this company. I told upper management that I wanted to resign. I called my sister about my decision. Okaido, I'm sorry. You always defended me. It's okay. Good luck at your new place. I don't know what will happen to this company after you leave. I'm thinking about switching jobs when the time's right. Soon enough, I quit and went to my sister's company. I'm your trainer, Riko Mayazumi. I want you to learn as fast as possible, so I'll pack everything in. But I'll support you, so let's do this. Nice to meet you. I'm Kakeru Furukawa. I'll work hard to grow as fast as I can. Thank you for teaching me. This isn't our first time meeting, Kakeru-kun. What? I'm your sister's best friend, Riko. You've seen me up until high school. Recognize me? My sister's friend, Riko? Riko and my sister have been friends since elementary school. I've always seen her around. But the woman in front of me was so beautiful, I didn't recognize it was her. So sorry you're so pretty, I didn't realize. <laughs> you're all grown up. Sorry to interrupt. I'm sure you heard from the boss, but we need employees in a few months. Worst case scenario, it'll be just the two of us. It might be hard, but let me know if you need anything. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Mayuzumi-san. That was how my new job began. I want to talk to you about something. Do you have some time? Yes, I do. What is it? A few weeks later, I was able to do most of the paperwork on my own. I was able to talk to Riko about work that wasn't urgent. So I want to make spreadsheets for product data and sales numbers that are easy to look at. Hmm, I see. Can you tell me more specifically? For example, one that has the features of the products and recent sales numbers. That way, we can see what features are popular. Or sales numbers in relation to each beauty salon and shop and the characteristics of those places. Then, we can easily see which products sell to which shops. We can make references like that in a shared folder for everyone in sales to see. I thought it would be easier to offer products to clients. What do you think? Riko listened intently. She furrowed her brows. But we don't have a lot of people in the office, so I don't know if we can spare any time on that. As for the client characteristics, are you going to ask each sales employee? Oh no, I was going to have the reps input them directly. I was wondering if the whole department could create this reference chart together. Nika thought about it and nodded. Okay, let's talk to the department head together. Okay, thank you. However, we need to know that we have the room to do this first. No overworking. Your work has been beyond my expectations. This might happen sooner than expected. Okay, I'll work even harder. After that, the reference chart idea was accepted. Due to the sales analysis, the department's sales was at an all-time high. Also, sharing the client analysis with marketing had a positive impact on market research. Ayaka was praising you too. You're amazing. No, no. All of this is thanks to you and the other employees' cooperation. On the way home, we walked together. I didn't think cute little Kakeru-kun would grow up like this. We played superheroes, and you would cry when you couldn't climb the wall. You've called me mom before too. Wah! Don't reveal my dark past! Diko giggled and I pouted. Suddenly, her face turned serious. She stared at me. I felt like I might get sucked into those eyes. But now you're so reliable. You learn the job quickly. No mistakes. Maybe we did someone wrong by poaching you. I don't know. Everyone thought I was a paperweight. I'm sure they're feeling great. Your old company has no taste. Nico? She whispered that and went ahead of me. 
You're so reliable and cool. There's no way you're a paperweight. Nico didn't seem to hear me. But it looked like her foot might fall into the gutter. So I... Watch out! I hugged her from behind to stop her. You're about to fall in, Biko. Watch where you're going. Oh, sorry. Thanks. He's grown up. Time passed quickly. Two years after I started working here, I was transferred to HR. The woman in sales came back from maternity leave, and we got another person. My sister thought I would do well in HR. Furukawa-san? These are the resumes for the next interviews. Thank you. I'll look over them. I haven't seen Rico much since I transferred. I'm sad. As I was thinking that, she spoke to me. Furukawa, kun. Hello. We haven't talked in a while. Want to get a drink sometime? Sounds good. Shall we invite the boss? I thought it was a normal question, but Nico looked unhappy. Kakeru-kun, that's not... What? Never mind. Let's all go together. Wait, did she want to go just the two of us? No, no way. Nico was so cute with her cheeks puffed out. I felt my heart skip a beat. No way this beautiful woman would look my way. I pushed the thoughts out of my head. A few days later, I learned something shocking from Okaido. What? Kako went bankrupt? Yeah, it went under right after I left. Wanna get drinks since it's been a while? Sounds good. I met up with Okaido for the first time in a while. I only know what it was like before I left. After you quit, sales was a mess. It was crazy. According to Okaido, there were so many mistakes with contracts and paperwork. They lost a lot of clients. Why are there so many mistakes on the contract? You keep asking right before you leave, so we rushed and messed up. Even that paperweight didn't make mistakes like this. Furukawa-kun was smart. It's all your fault for saying nasty things and pushing him out. You never said he was smart when he was here. No one there was as fast or accurate as you were. On top of that, you did market research on your own and it shared the results with the sales team, right? That's why sales was doing well. I don't know what they all thought was happening. The reference chart I had suggested was actually what I used at my last job. I can't say that it was all thanks to me that sales was doing well, but maybe I can be a little proud of my contributions. Anyway, the company went bankrupt, so I think it's a good opportunity for them to reevaluate. You said you left. How's life now? I'm hanging in there. There's a lot to worry about. I'm glad I didn't stay at a place that didn't recognize your worth. We talked and ended the day. A few days later, I was doing the interviews, but there was a problem. I heard you were in sales before, that your record was top level. What were you careful about when you would do your work? Um, so, yes. The applicants' responses were all over the place. Inaka-san? What's wrong? Oh, uh, with sales, I made sure to smile and communicate well. This nervous applicant was none other than the one who made fun of me all the time, Inaka. I see. Thank you. I'm sure you had a lot of interactions with the office staff. What are your thoughts on secretarial work? Huh? <laughs> uh, so... Inaka's mouth moved, but no words came out. He looked down. It was awkward. You wouldn't think he was a great salesman. Next question. After that, I asked some more questions, but Inaka didn't have any good responses. You, asking all those difficult questions, was that a revenge? After work, I left the office and ran into Inaka. I guess he had been waiting for me. It was not revenge. We believe each employee is valuable. I wanted to decide whether your ideals fit our company. I can't believe you can just lie like that. You are paperweight. I can't allow you to call my employee a paperweight. We were arguing when Diko and my sister came up behind me. Ever since Furukawa came to us, our sales have gone up, and he's in HR now. He has business panache, and he treats each employee with respect. 
He is a brilliant employee that contributes greatly to this company's growth and to the employees. As a fellow employee, I do not consider him a paperweight at all. Accurate and quick paperwork, flexibility, vast knowledge of products. Beyond that, he thinks of ways to make sales easier for the staff. I don't know an employee that is more capable than he is. Heh, <laughs> that's just luck. There is no way a man who can only do secretary work is capable. He must have realized that he wasn't getting into our company. He wasn't holding back. Furukawa hasn't done any sales directly, so that's unknown territory. But, as she mentioned earlier, our sales have been going up since he came. How about your last company? I do believe the results speak for themselves. Heh, <laughs> nepotism. You're lucky they defended you. Huh? He said his piece and left. Ugh, who is he? To my cocoon. I know what you mean, but I'm glad you didn't show him that side of you. If you kept saying cocoon, I don't think it would have gone well. Nesan, Diko, thank you. What you said made me happy. I bowed my head. My sister grinned. Personal feelings aside, it's undeniable that you're great. Of course I'd be mad that someone insulted my precious brother. And of course Rico can't stand back while the person she likes is being treated like that. Ayaka! What? Wait! You didn't know? Even I could tell before Rico came to me about it. Wait, but... Rico's so pretty. I didn't think she would even look my way. I was in a panic. Rico puffed out her cheeks. You're so dense. So sorry Before I knew it, I fell for you. You're reliable and cool. So, will you go out with me? Y yes I always thought you were cute. I'm not worthy, but thank you. That's how we started dating. Inaka and the others who made fun of me were able to join another company. But that company was not good, and they have to work from morning to night. Damn it! No matter how good my record is, I don't even get praised! His work wasn't being recognized, and he was losing both weight and hope. Once he repents, he can find work at a normal company. Probably. I'm not sure. Nico and I are still dating and working for the company. Your reference chart has been approved and it's treasured by the sales department. Oh, I'm glad it's useful. Oh, and right now we're so busy, we can't go out much. But let's go somewhere when things settle down. Yeah, let's go on a secret date together without my sister. Yeah. Just because they go unnoticed doesn't mean they're a paperweight. Every company needs its unsung hero. From now on, I want to recognize every employee and treat every employee with respect. Hello, it's Brittany. <laughs> Ayaka just casually slipping out that she likes him. Good job, girl. Way to take that away from her. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this story, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!